Amen, glory to God. Amen. Come on, put the hands together for our sister Tiny. Amen. Glory to God. I think you a good job in our announcement. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I just wanted to thank everybody for coming out. Amen. Glory to God. Thank God for peace being in the house. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Peace is all my mind. Thank God for peace being in the house. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Peace is all my mind. Amen. Peace is all my mind. So much as all last Sunday, I kept over the elder peace. Amen. We were bold and I was calling the people. Amen. I said, I got to call the people. Right after bold, I called the people on the phone and I said, Pete, I was thinking about you. Amen. He said, Yeah. I said, Yeah, I was thinking about the people. Amen. He said, I was going to come, but I, I said, Well, that's all right, Pete. I just wanted to call and make sure you was all right. And he said, I'm at the hospital. I thought Deacon said, when he said he was at the hospital, I thought he was going to tell me he was in the hospital, but he said, I'm at the hospital visiting somebody. Amen. Amen. So I was glad Deacon is all right. Amen. Glory be to God. He said, I'm going to try to get back to you this Sunday. Amen. But thank God Deacon showed up. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. So Deacon, thank you for coming. Amen. And he was repentant to him. Amen. She was here with him the last time. You know, she was going to ask somebody different. Well, thank God for a different opinion. Amen. Glory be to God. We're going to have a great time in the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Yes, y'all talk to me real quick. Oh, she got a phone. She got a phone. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, no problem. Amen. Yes. Love, love, love. Definitely say before the future get up. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Y'all know this is Missionary Sunday. This is a communion Sunday, but the Missionary is a child. Yeah. Amen. Glory be to God. So, so uh, I need mean, y'all to pray for our, um, our head missionary, uh, Sister Plummer, they do run away on vacation. Amen. Yeah.
rose up, I rose up with power, I rose up with healing. Nothing can stop me from seeing what God was doing. Amen. It strengthened me and it restored me and it rebuilt me that I can stand up against anything, Sister Lisa. I'm telling you right now, when people seem like they didn't like me, I still stood and stood firm and did the will of God. Amen. Amen. And God showed my humble heart. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. And when God started to do, He started to bless us. He started to add to the house. Because the only thing I did was I said, God, I need you to send me help. Amen. Glory be to God. Because your house is not just built on me, but it's built on us, your people. Amen. Glory be to God. Yes, God sets up positions. Amen. But God knows how to put the pieces together to make the position work. Amen. Glory be to God. Nobody has a business without having a staff. You already talked to me. Amen. Glory be to God. So God knows exactly what he's doing. And I thank God for every individual, every person that he has brought into the house of God that remains, that stays, that wants to grow, that wants to prosper, and they see what God is doing. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. And I see God blessing, and I know God is blessing, because God is blessing from the peace to the poor. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. Amen. And the reason why God is saying, I'm going to bless your people. Yeah. Amen. And when your people get blessed, now I'm going to bless you. Yeah. Amen. Because I need you to know how to be a servant first in order for you to be a great leader. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So God had to let me see what he was pouring out to you to let me know what he has already poured into me. Yeah. Amen. And I thank God for what he's doing. And I love all of you. all Amen. Glory to God. Thanks for the first lady to see you and coming back. Or publication, amen, with my second oldest daughter. I'll be picking up at 130. Amen. Glory to God. Everybody want to go away. Amen. But the pastor, we got to stay. Amen. We got to stay on the battlefield. Amen. Pastor started his new job. Well, come on here, somebody. Amen. So, mother, I ain't got to be a Mexican yet. Amen. Glory to God. I ain't got to say I got five jobs. I'm saying that I got one. That's coming on.
We demand glory be to God. For we do all things according to God's path and the enemy. For the Bible says that a man lost out, yet he has lost me, but he said, Where he has he lost the entire dead and open. For we are cursed with the curse, for we, he has lost me, even this whole nation. But the Lord said, Bring me all the time into the store. I said, There will be meat in thy house. And prove in me now, therefore, say to the Lord of hosts, that I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be enough room to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your name's sake, and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Neither shall your vine pass his fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts, and all nations shall call you blessed. For he shall be a delightful land, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for all offerings that have been received according to your word. And Lord, we know that you have already blessed and we know you have already supplied the need that was needed. And it's going to be first down and running over. Amen. Glory be to God. And we thank you for the overflow because we know that our need is already met. In Jesus' name, this is the church. Say amen. Amen. Come on and put your hands together. Let's give God some praise. Come on, let's bless him in here. Amen. We should be joyful in our kids. Amen. There should be a rejoice. Amen. Glory be to God. Why? Because in that rejoicing, there's a blessing. Well, come on here, somebody. In that rejoicing of giving, there's a blessing. God said he loves a careful gift. Oh, glory be to God. Yeah, we're cheerful in our praise. Oh, hallelujah, but God is saying being cheerful in your praise. God wants you to get to a place that you give Him a worship that nobody else can give. God wants you to get to that place that you just lose yourself. And the only thing your mouth can do is just open and there's not a sound. And the Holy Ghost starts to speak on your behalf.
will be born and a time to die. A time to search and a time to give up. So in other words, you should be searching for those things that will lead you interest. And by now, you should be fully ready to give up those things that lead you to a blessed life. Are y'all here with me today? Well, when I think about time, I wonder what the purpose of time is. And if I could just think for a moment, I wonder if I was walking in my godly purpose with the time that God has given me. But you know, that's just my fault. You know, some say that time is designed to prevent everything from happening all at once. Mm. Time. Others say that time is the most precious resource there is. And therefore, it's something that once it goes by, you cannot get it back. You can't get it back. When I hear this, it reminds me about the two thieves who were on the cross with Jesus. And they were both on the cross with Jesus. And they knew that their time was getting ready to expire. And they knew that they couldn't get the time back. Does anybody in here today know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been there? Well, watch this. The penitentiary, the sinner, he realized that it was
Amen. Eternal life. 
eternal life. That's the woman right there. That's where you know that you know. That's where you know where you're going. Eternal life. A new creature in Christ. Uh, new beginning. New beginning. How many people want to start all over? You made some mistakes, right? But you get an opportunity to start all over again. Justification. Adoption of sonship. Adoption of sonship. I told you Jesus is the gift that keeps on giving. Salvation is the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me.
Amen, Sister Howard. If you want to have some fun in the sun after you get that time, they said they got free food. Amen. You hear me, Sister Lisa? You can get a hot dog. You can get a French. Amen. Glory be to God. You can get a hamburger after you go down the water. Amen. Come up with Joyce. There's going to be a celebration. God is talking to me. Amen. Glory be to God. So all those who want to go down the water, those that want to be baptized. Amen. Glory be to God. Because one thing you have to understand is that you can be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost, but you still need to be baptized by water. Amen. Glory be to God. There are people who have been baptized by water, but you still need to be baptized by the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. You need both or you are incomplete. Look at your neighbor and say, am I incomplete? Amen. To touch yourself and say, am I incomplete? Amen. That's what you got to answer that question on your own. Amen. But well, you can get your completeness. Because if you're missing something, you can get it all. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. It's just like a marriage. Amen. Why, why, why live together and be, um, what do they call that now? Amen. Common law. Common law. Amen. Glory be to God. Common law togetherness. Amen. I don't want to be halfway blessed, Mother. Amen. I want to be fully blessed. Yes. Amen. So since I'm fully blessed, I know I get the whole package. Yes. Amen. Glory be to God. You ain't going to say you with me today and then we go outside and we cheat. Come on here, somebody. Because <laughs> that, that's what it does. It opens the door for cheat. Right. Because when something happens, what do they say, Mother? Now, the brother, he should be saying, I don't see no way on my way. Amen. Come on here, somebody. Amen. So we got to know how to do it right. Amen. Amen. So look at your say it's going to take time. It's going to take time. Amen. So when you get salvation, amen, you, you're, you're being set free. Set free to do what? To know and to learn the truth. Amen. Amen. To know what your value is, what your worth is. Amen. So that you can get the best thing that God has put in you out of you. Yes. Amen. Oh, my God. Once again, we just thank the Lord for our evangelist sins. Amen. For that word. Look at your neighbor and say, time. Amen. Put your hands together one more time. And just bless God. Amen. Glory be to God. So at this time, we're going to be ready to take communion. Amen. I'm going to be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 17. And it says, now in giving these instructions, I do not praise you, since you come together not for the better, but for worse. For, first of all, when you come together as a church, I heard that there is division among you. Some people do come to church and their minds are not right. They're still divided, but they're in one place. They still don't like this one and that one, but they still come into the house of God. And God is saying, with division, I can't hear you. Amen. How could you say you love me and you can't even love your neighbor? That's right here in your presence that God has allowed to live just like you can live. God has allowed them to breathe just like you can He gave you a sound that you can send it up to heaven and knock out his window, that he can open up the windows of heaven to embrace it and to pour your down and bless it. But yet, y'all don't like each other. Come on here, somebody. And he said that there's division among you, and in part, I believe it. Amen. That's the word of the Lord. But there must also be factions among you that those who are proved may be recognized among you. Amen. There are some good people. Look at your neighbor. Say, everybody ain't wrong. Amen. Therefore, when you come together in one place, it is not to eat of the Lord's supper. For in eating, each one takes his own supper ahead of others. And one is hungry and the other is drunk. What, do you not have a house to eat and drink in? Or do you despise the church of God and shame those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I do not. For I received from the Lord, which also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was portrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you. For this do in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in the remembrance of me. 
For as often as you eat this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whosoever eats this bread and drink this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are sick, or we can sick among you, and many sleep. For if you would judge us ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastised by the Lord that we may not be condemned with this world. Therefore, my brethren, when we come together to eat, wait for one another. But if everyone, if anyone is hungry, let them be at home, least you come together for judgment. And the rest I will set it for when I come. And the word of the Lord is blessed already. Amen. 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 At this time, we want to call on the elder. Amen. To come and just pray. Amen. For for us so that the Lord can look beyond our faults and see our needs. Because we need to examine ourselves. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. So he's going to pray for our forgiveness so that God can find us worthy right now. Amen. Glory be to God. Come on, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let's all to the throne, Lord. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for all the things that you have prepared for us, O oh God. We come before you, seeking your grace and your mercy. We ask you, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you forgive us, O oh God, for our many sins that we committed against you. Forgive us, O oh God, for the ways that we have dishonored you the way that we have grieved the Holy Spirit, the way that we have been witness of a bad testimony, O oh God, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will sanctify us, O oh God, correct in us, O oh God, a clean heart and remove in us a right and set that spirit, Father oh God, I pray that you will help us to be in alignment with your will, to walk in your word, to walk by your spirit, O oh God, to be in submission to your Holy Spirit, that you may have your way and our life as we partake. O oh God, of communion and the remembrance of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us, O oh God, we will be obedient to do it unto you, O oh God, not out of fashion, not out of tradition, but out of love and worship to you, O oh God. I pray that you have your way and be glorified and be praised. In Jesus Christ, we need to thank you, we pray. Amen. 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 Father, I
this is my blood. Eat in remembrance of me. Amen. 